My favorite holiday of the year is coming up. Christmas falls on December 25th. And if you're not sure what to sell on your e-commerce stores, then do not go anywhere because in this video, I'm going to show you the best products to sell to really make a killing this Christmas. So if this is your first Christmas, you couldn't choose a better time to start your e-commerce business. And if you've been here before, prepare because this year you're about to break new records. The top Christmas products coming right up in this video. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back, I'm Liran from AutoDS and as you know in this video you're about to learn about the top products to sell this Christmas. And we're not just going to go over 10 products like we usually do. In this video, it's a very, very special holiday. It's a very special event. And that's why we're going to go over the top 25 products to sell this Christmas. We've been gathering this information from years and years of experience and our full database of many trending products that we've accumulated over the years. We know what's been selling hot. We know what's going to trend. And I'm going to share with you that information in this video. One second before I get started, if you haven't done so yet, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn about the next step in your e-commerce business. We've got case studies, product finding, full step-by-step -step tutorials, live Q&As, and so much more. Head over to youtube.com slash AutoDS and click subscribe. Now, everything that I'm going over in this video, you can also read about it in the blog article, which I'll leave a link to right below this video. But do keep in mind, I always like to throw in some extra additional bonus value into these videos. So if you're the type that likes to watch, do not go anywhere. Let's go ahead and get started. What are the top products to sell on Christmas. Now remember, Christmas falls on December 25th. You want to get your stores ready at least a month and a half in advance to give your store time to sell the Christmas products, profit from them, and deliver them to your customers before Christmas arrives. Okay, so let's get started. What are the best products that are going to sell this Christmas? Starting with number one, artificial Christmas wreaths. These have been selling every year, every Christmas, and it's going to keep selling. And some even sell in medium and high ticket price ranges. So you can make some great profit selling Christmas wreaths. And let me just show you an example by searching any one of the suppliers. If you're wondering what suppliers to use to get these products, simply head over to autods.com and click on suppliers on the top. Here you have a list over over 25 suppliers that you can work with and you can get these products or even get product ideas from these suppliers and import them to your stores. So in this example, I'm just going to head over to Amazon. Now, this is just one example. You can use any supplier that, that you want. It can be a wholesale supplier. It can be a retail supplier. Retail suppliers usually require a little bit of more knowledge before you get started with them. But wholesale suppliers are mostly very much dropshipping friendly. So check out these Christmas reads and you can see that there are a whole bunch of different variations of them. So there is really a bunch of them for you to sell. And these always trend a lot right before Christmas. One more important thing to know here is that when you're adding these products that I'm giving you in these videos, you should add at least 20 of them to your store. So this means if I'm telling you to add Christmas wreaths, then you should be adding about 20 of them to your store, even more if you can. You want to be able to analyze the market correctly and you won't be able to do that with just one product or two products. So add 20 product ideas from each one of these so that you can really test it correctly. Use the tagging feature if you're an AutoDS member, tag it as Christmas products so that you can see what Christmas products sold best for you. You'll be able to really analyze Christmas sales really well once Christmas is over and be even more ready next year with the products that are proven to be bestsellers for you while continuing to test the market for more. Number two on our list, Christmas window clings and stickers. This is one of those decor products that you simply have to have for Christmas. So Christmas window clings and stickers, you can simply take them, copy it from our blog article and paste it on your supplier search engine. And here you will see that product. Now, granted, some suppliers may not have so much to offer. If you're using Amazon, for example, you, you'll pretty much always have something to sell. But of course, there are many other suppliers that you can use like AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, Wayfair, Costway, and you'll also have private suppliers soon at AutoDS. More on that on our YouTube channel and on our blog page at autods.com slash blog. So now let's search for Christmas window clings and stickers just to give you an idea just to show you that you can find it from many different suppliers. Now, let's say I want to add this product to my store. It's really easy. When you have dropshipping automation like AutoDS, simply head over to platform.autods.com or, or just log into your AutoDS account. And on the left side, you want to click on add products. Then you can go with single product. And then you can take the URL of that product. So let's say we want to go for 
these stickers. That's the product that we're looking for anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy the URL, head to AutoDS when I clicked on Add Products and Single Product. I'm simply going to paste that URL, URL right here. And the system can already see that it's coming from AliExpress. The region is China. Then I'm going to click on Edit Now Quick. Now what's happening is AutoDS is grabbing all of the information from the supplier's website. And in just a couple of seconds, as you can see here, it's already added to the draft section of my store. So here I can optimize the product like the title, the tags, the, the location, stock monitoring, price monitoring, automatic orders, the product's description with a rich text editor, the product's variation. So all of the variations that we have right here, you can also see them right here on your store and all of the product's images. So of course you don't have to download and upload them one by one and the item specifications. So everything here was very much automated for me. And all that I have to do is optimize it a little bit if I want, or I can import it directly to my store and optimize it later. That's completely up to you how you wanna run your business. But this is how quick it is to add products to your store. And that's just a single product importer. Let's go back to that product list. Number two, we talked about Christmas window clings and stickers. Number three on our list, we've got Christmas snow globe lanterns. That is exactly what it sounds like. So we're gonna copy this and let's see this product on another supplier. So let's this time, let's go with CJ Dropshipping. And as you see, we've got one right here. We've got another one right here, another one right here. They don't have that much, but they do have some. And that is one good reason to add these because maybe not too many other dropshippers have added them yet. But on the other hand, that's why I said that you always need to work with multiple suppliers. Some suppliers may not have the same amount of results that you're looking for, and that's why you're going to get them from different suppliers, from other ones. Number four on our list, Christmas Floor Runners. And this time we're going to use AliExpress. So as you see here, they've also got table runners, and they've also got rugs, carpets like we were looking for, but mainly table runners. So that is why... Once again, you want to use multiple suppliers. So back to Amazon, here you're going to find a huge variety of Christmas floor runners. The fifth Christmas product that you need to sell this year are Christmas pillow covers. I've also recommended this last year. It sold really, really well, and uh, I cannot leave it out if it's going to keep selling this year. So add Christmas pillow covers. One of the things that I like about Christmas pillow covers is that, first of all, there's a whole bunch of variations. The manufacturers, the suppliers finished creating them, finished manufacturing them, and now they're starting to sell them. So now I'm using Walmart. And as you can see here, we've got many different types of pillow covers. Now this can come in a one pack, a two pack, a four pack. So it's good to take advantage of this. And you want to be able to increase your average order value. So of course, it's better to sell a product that costs $50, $100 than to sell a product that costs $10 to $20 in terms of profiting. And once again, as you can see, there are many types of Christmas pillow covers that you can start purchasing, that you can start adding to your store right now. And if you would come here in the beginning of the year or in the middle of the year, you won't find that many Christmas pillow covers because they are not starting to trend yet. Now is the time. Now you want to start adding them to your stores. Number six, Christmas throw blankets. Another product that we use year by year. So Christmas throw blankets, this pretty much goes with Christmas pillow covers. It goes with Christmas floor runners. It's another great Christmas item that people like to have in their homes right before Christmas and of course during. Now, let me show you something before I continue. Let's say that you know Christmas throw blankets are going to sell like crazy and you wanna add a whole bunch of them to your store. So you already know how to add one product to your store, how to do it really quickly from the method that I showed you a couple minutes ago. But let's say you wanna add a whole page worth of Christmas floor runners. This is exactly how you're going to do that. So I just search for Christmas Floor Runner. And what I want to do is download and install the AutoDS Helper extension. So if you don't have that, simply search for AutoDS Helper on Google. Go to the first search result and you'll get to this extension page. Add the AutoDS Helper. Of course, it's absolutely free. And this will help you do many things. One of them is to import products in bulk. This is how we're going to do that. So as you see right here, the circle, this is the AutoDS extension icon. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search on my supplier's website for what I want to add to my store. In this case, Christmas floor runner. So I search for that and this whole page is filled with Christmas floor runners. Now I want to add all of them to my store and not do it one by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the extension. Then I'm going to click on extract. Now all of the 144 products that we have on this page got extracted into the small extension. Now I can continue going to the next page and also adding all of these Christmas floor runners. So I'm going to click extract again. Now I've got 266 products. So 
we've already got a whole bunch of floor runners that we can add to our stores. But what I'm going to do now is click on export as CSV. And as you see, a CSV file was just downloaded onto my computer. Now I'm going to head to the AutoDS platform. I'm going to click on add products. Only this time, instead of single, I'm going to go for multiple products. And one way to do it is to add the product IDs here. So let's say I would take one products URL from here add it here, go to another product URL, add it here, go to another product URL, add it here. That's another way of adding multiple products to your store. But let's check out the bulk feature that we just started. So here we're going to click on upload CSV. And here we're going to drag and drop that CSV file that was just exported onto our computers. Processing CSV. Now, as soon as I click on add as a draft, it's going to add all of those almost 256 Christmas floor runners to the draft section of our store where we can optimize it or import it directly to our store before or after we optimize it and start selling. So that's how easy it is to add tens, hundreds, or even thousands of products to your store in just a couple of clicks and just a couple of minutes, instead of it having to take hours and days. And that way you'll never be able to invest your time on what's really important, which is growing your dropshipping business and not getting stuck on tedious tasks like importing products and hoping that the prices and the stocks at your suppliers' websites do not change. So with automation, we're solving all of those problems. We're saving our time so that we can invest it in growing our business, opening more stores, working harder, on product research and more things that will really help us grow our businesses and not get stuck in the same tasks in the same growth or not even growing at all product number seven christmas party decorations now this is a broad one so you just simply want to search your supplier for christmas party decorations and here you'll get a whole bunch of results that can help your customers decorate their houses for Christmas. So here, as you can see, you've got a whole bunch of variations that you can resell on your e-commerce store. There is more than enough to come around. And this pretty much comes together with those Christmas stickers that we talked about. But these are natural party favors. So it's not just a decor product. It's not just a way to say, hey, we're also celebrating Christmas here but we're also throwing a party and you are invited. And do not forget this tip to tag your products. When you tag your products and you can see that example right here. So we've got the white snowflake Christmas wall stickers that we added to the drafts section of our store. So here you can see the products tags. So AutoDS automatically added it to the home and garden, home decor and wall stickers tags. But I'm also going to create a tag called Christmas. Okay, and I'm gonna add it to that tag. And now every time I add a Christmas product, I'm going to keep adding it to the Christmas tag. And that way, once Christmas is over, I'll simply head over to the product section of my store. And then I can add a filter saying, I want you to show me all of the products that have a tag called Christmas. And when you have too many tags, you can simply search for it. So right here, Christmas, then we're going to click on done. Now it's going to show me all of the products that have that tag. Now in this example, I don't have any because I just added only one and it's in the draft section of my store. So we cannot see it yet. But that is how you'll be able to analyze what products sold really well this Christmas and keep those products for next year. So that once again, you can make the same killing next year, but even more by adding more products that are similar to those that sold for you the year before. And of course, staying in tune with us to learn about, about what products to sell and more than that, continue doing product research. So after Christmas party decorations, now to number eight, Santa Claus Christmas figurine. This one is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to show it to you on suppliers' websites, but many people like to buy figurines right before Christmas, and the Santa Claus Christmas figurine is one of them. Now, it doesn't have to be just Santa Claus. That's just one of the main trends from the figurines niche, but you can also search for Christmas figurine. For example, let's do, let's make this search. Let's make it on Walmart this time. Just jumping back and forth from uh, from some of the multiple suppliers, but of course you can continue searching other suppliers. So as you can see here, we've also got this nativity scene with Jesus and Mary, and you've got other ones. You've got the reindeers, you've got Christmas reindeers, you've got some Christmas pets right here, and you've got this Christmas tree. So there are other figurines that are not just Santa Claus. That brings us to number nine. This one should go without saying, but guys, Christmas trees, everybody's buying them right before Christmas. Well, not everybody, but whoever's celebrating Christmas, which is more than enough. And just to kind of get you guys to understand how many people are purchasing Halloween products right before Halloween, you can see right here, holiday e-commerce sales in the United States achieved over $186 billion just last year in 2021. And in the holiday sales, we're talking about the Q4 holidays. We've got Halloween, we've got Christmas, New Year's, Black Friday, Thanksgiving. 
but this is the time to make sales. This is the time when most online shoppers are purchasing products online. So if you wanna join the fun, once again, now is the time to do so. So Christmas trees come in all different types of variations. Some Christmas trees can come decorated, some do not, some require some work, and some do not. So it really depends on what you're going for. But what you wanna do on your store, once again, is to add at least 20 different types of Christmas trees. Make sure that one variation is not an exact duplicate of, of another that you already have on your store. But if you check out, for example, this one right here, this variation is pre-lit. So here you can say, okay, I can check the pre-lit Christmas trees, and I can also check the regular ones right here, like this one, it's not pre-lit, and it's just a regular six foot Christmas tree. Then you can go on and try selling pink Christmas trees like this one right here. This one is seven and a half feet, and it sells for $72. You can sell this one for $130, $120. It will sell, people will buy it. And another one right here that comes as a four pack in different sizes. So as you can see, there are many different types of Christmas trees that you can sell, that you can resell on your store, and this is the way to do it. Christmas trees, number nine on our list. This brings us to number 10, Christmas tree accessories. If you're purchasing those Christmas trees that don't have any decoration on them, or even if you're not adding Christmas trees that have decor or don't have decorations on them, even if you just wanna sell the accessories, that's completely fine. Even if your buyers are not gonna buy the Christmas trees from you, they definitely can and will buy the Christmas tree accessories from your store. And when adding accessories, these are most likely not going to be expensive products. For example, this snowflake tree topper. Okay, some of them can sell for a medium price ticket range, like $40, $50, but some of them are going to be relatively low and cheap. You've also got Christmas ball ornaments. This is, once again, a micro niche of the regular Christmas tree accessories niche. Then you've got Christmas tree lights, and you've also got elf Christmas tree skirts, another nice accessory, another nice addition to Christmas trees. Then you've got Christmas tree storage bags. After Christmas, people are gonna look for a place to store their Christmas trees and keep them there for next year. Many dropshippers miss out on Christmas tree storage bags. They only think about Christmas, not just dropshippers, but e-commerce store owners, inventory, and whatnot. They forget about what comes the day after Christmas. They think only about Christmas and only about what's gonna sell then, but what about the day after Christmas? Who's gonna make those sales, if not you, with these Christmas product ideas? Number 11 on our list, Christmas tree earrings. Christmas tree earrings are another way to get into the whole Christmas vibe, and that is another great selling product on Christmas. Number 12, Christmas tree rhinestone brooches. That's what you're looking at right here, another decor item. This actually belongs to the Christmas tree decorative item. So back up to the Christmas tree accessories, it doesn't only have to be a Christmas tree accessory, you can add it to your shirt, you can add it to wherever and whatever, but that's just another idea. Number 13, Outdoor color changing Christmas lights. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful product that simply brings out the beauty in Christmas. Let's search for this one and this time search on Walmart. Outdoor color changing Christmas lights. And here we go. We've got the red and green right here. We've got a red right here. Here is a perfect example. Okay, this Christmas wreath that already comes with Christmas LED lights. And this one right here, color changing fairy lights for your Christmas tree and you've got more and more as I continue scrolling down. Number 14, inflatable Santa Claus. So here I search on Amazon for inflatable Santa Clauses and check out the variety. What I like about this is that it is a medium to high ticket price range product, meaning you're gonna make some great profit from every time you make a sell from this specific niche. So search for inflatable Santa Claus, but also search for inflatable Christmas. Okay, then you'll get the broad range of the inflatables that you can sell for Christmas, like this dinosaur right here with the Christmas hat, eight feet tall, selling at $54. Number 15, candy cane balloons. So right here on AliExpress, you can see that there are other types of candy, Christmas candy balloons, like this one right here, Christmas balloons. And here you can see that candy cane balloon. That is another great seller right before Christmas. Number 16, Christmas garland with lights. So this product is very similar to the Christmas wreaths that we talked about, only it's not a perfect circle. It comes in all of these different types of shapes and forms, and this is gonna be another hot seller for Christmas. Number 17, Christmas wrapping paper rolls. So back to Amazon that usually has great results, check out these Christmas wrapping paper rolls. So you've got a whole different bunch of variations to work with here and you wanna do what I told you, add at least 20 of them in your store, and you will see that some of them will start to sell. 
notice the ones that sold, see what didn't sell, learn from what sold, learn from what didn't sell, and continue scaling your way up from there. Number 18, knitted Christmas stockings set. Everybody's buying Christmas stockings for Christmas, so there's no reason not to buy from you as long as you have enough of them on your on your store and find the actual one that they were looking for. So you can see that some of them come in one color, some of them come in multiple colors, some of them are six packs, some of them are two packs, some of them are four packs. So there's a whole bunch of different variations for you to play around with. You can add a product, okay? Like let's say this one right here, add this Christmas stocking, and you can see that it comes with all of these different types of variations. But what if you want a different variation inside that product page? Okay, let's say you want this variation inside, like this is a, a this is a variation that's that's on the outside. It's not a part of the product that I just showed you, and it doesn't have any variations itself. But let's say you want to add this as a variation to the Christmas stockings that I just showed you. The way to do that is to go to the product page for the product that you want to add, copy the URL, only this time, instead of adding the products to AutoDS, you're going to go to a product that you already have. Okay, let's say this is the Christmas stockings that I added to my store. Then I want to add another variation for another Christmas stocking that wasn't a part of that product page. So what I'm going to do is right here in the variant section, I'm going to click on add variant, and I'm going to paste the URL right here. Now I'm going to click on add variant. And what's going to happen is that variation is going to be added to this product. Now in this case, it's not really relevant because we're not, we don't really want to add the variation to this product, but you can do that. You can add different variations from even from different suppliers and from different regions to the same product page that you just created. Moving on to number 19, ugly Christmas sweaters. So you're going to search for ugly Christmas sweaters. And that is what you're going to get. So you got this guy right here, Mead Wee Christmas. It is an ugly sweater, another more ugly sweaters, more ugly Christmas sweaters. And to be honest, I'm not sure why they're calling it ugly because they're not, but it's trending. And this is what people are buying. Number 20 on our list, matching family Christmas pajama set. I love this product because I am a father, I have a family, and this is another hot seller right before Christmas. So I'm gonna search for it this time on AliExpress. And to be honest, we've got a very nice amount of Christmas pajamas family sets through AliExpress. And I'm sure that if you'll check other suppliers, you'll also find different variations there. What's important when selling products like these is to be able to offer all types of sizes. So as you see here, we've got a whole bunch of different variations and each one is for a different person. So you got one for mom, mom small, mom medium, mom large, mom extra large, mom two extra large, and the same for dad. And then you've got the kid sizes too. So make it very clear what you're selling and also add a size chart. It's really important to have size charts so that your buyers will know exactly what size they need to purchase. And as I'm scrolling down right here, you can see that this seller added a size chart to his product page. So those are the top 25 plus products. I went through 20, but there was all the micro niches inside the regular niches. So of course we went over 25 products here, and these are going to be some of the best sellers this Christmas. Here are a few extra tips to make more sales. Enhance your store visuals. Make your store have a Christmas theme. If you're using AutoDS, you can get free Christmas themes like the one you're looking at right here. You don't have to pay extra for this. It's included inside your AutoDS subscription. And this way your store will already have a Christmas theme, a Christmas vibe. And you can also create free logos on websites like Hatchful. You, all right, you have the link in the blog article below this video. And you can also go to freelancer websites like Fiverr.com or Upwork.com and hire a freelancer to create a good looking template for your store starting at $5. Next, you want to utilize effective marketing strategies. Now, this depends, of course, on what selling channel you're using. If you're dropshipping on eBay, you can take advantage of promoted listing standard, promoted listings advanced, and more things like sending offers, volume pricing, and more. Next, you want to be able to provide excellent customer support. When your buyers reach out to you, whether it's a problem that they're having, whether they just want to get some extra information about a product, we want to answer all of our customers' requests and disputes. It's just a part of it. So don't get mad if your customers are complaining. Learn from it and improve your store from there. Provide the best customer service that you can, even if it has to set you back a few bucks. It is definitely worth it in the long run. Last but not least, if you really want to be able to scale, 
if you really want to make it to the big numbers, you have to automate your dropshipping business. And that is where AutoDS comes in with price and stock monitoring, meaning every time the prices of the stock changes on our supplier's website, it'll also change on our stores accordingly. Quick product importing. I showed you some of those strategies in this video. Automatic orders to fulfill your orders automatically as soon as they come in. A great customer service platform where you can handle all of your customers' requests under one screen if you are dropshipping on eBay. And of course, all of these automation settings for eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shops, and more coming up. That wraps up this video on how to prepare your stores for Christmas this year. I hope that you're gonna have excellent sales, excellent profits. I cannot wait for you to come back after Christmas and leave me a comment below. Let me know how it went for you. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay one step ahead of the game. Thank you for watching and I'll see you after Christmas.